In this video, I'm gonna use the generic sounds that come in FL Studio when you open it up and turn it into something pretty sweet. Okay, so this is probably going to be like the first video after I've come back back in the studio and all that. I hope you guys are doing really good. My name is Siki Beats. I'm a producer from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Really glad you clicked on this video. Today, we're going to take the stock sounds that come in FL Studio when you open it up. Actually, want to give a quick shout out to uh, Simon Servita and Kyle Beats who already have done this and I'll leave a link to their videos in the description. I really wanted to see what I could do with this challenge and I wanted to show you, maybe like uh, give you some ideas on how you could process these sounds. It's been like a month uh, since I actually sat in front of my computer and worked on song. So we're gonna take the stock sounds that come inside of FL Studio and we're gonna turn them into something decent because obviously you've you've heard those sounds. They're not very good, but they're not very good for hip hop. And we're gonna take that, we're gonna turn it into something cool and maybe it'll give you guys some ideas on how to uh, manipulate sounds and get really creative with the sampler track, which is extremely powerful if you didn't already know. So let's get into that. The first thing that we'll um, start with is this kick and see if we can turn it into something decent. Pretty nasty, it's like, you can tell it's like an EDM kick, but maybe we'll uh, clean out that beginning. Clean up that noise. All right, shape the case. And maybe we'll try this. This is the bit I don't think a lot of people know about this um, envelope shaper. All right, we got that. We're going to record that into Edison so that we have and drag this in underneath. So that's how quick it was. So this is what the original sound started with. And this is what the new sound sounds like. And we'll probably end up like EQing it and doing a little bit more towards the end when we're like building the track out or something. And then let's see what we can do with this clat. Now this one might take a little bit longer. In fact, um, we're gonna start with like a little bit of a plug-in chain that I usually do if I wanna make a, a clap sound. And because I'm doing this with stock plugins, I'm just trying to think what would, yeah, this one. Feedback, delay time, dry. Perfect. So we're gonna take this and we'll go piano roll, which is stupid. Cut itself. Five minutes later. Cool. Usually there's like three. Normalize. Then right here, we're going to Alt F. Take this from here. We'll take this and we will just speed it up. That to number two. It's a lot of going back and forth. Okay, cool, that sounds cool. Let's make a hi-hat. This is, this hi-hats are like easy. Easy as hell. All you need to do is just pitch them up, any sound. Play with the envelope, the ADSR. All right, now let's see what we can do. This snare might be a little bit more trickier, but you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that we're gonna clone this. And then we're gonna call we're gonna clone it one more time and call it the original just so I have it not that we're gonna use it first part is the really beginning cool man that sounds kind of cool it sounds like a real drum kit all the velocity up that sounds good so far now the snare is usually where it gets kind of tricky but we will Again, duplicate this. So first we gotta start with the transient here for the snare, and we just need the beginning of it. And then we'll take this, boost the sh Actually, we'll render this to audio, number four. And now we got. Cool, and this one here, we'll clean up the bottom. And last but not least, is just maybe add some compression to that using stock. All right. 
right, now let's make an 808. So we're gonna take this kick, I'm gonna put it into edit, edit in audio editor, let's turn snap on. And here's a cool little trick, we're gonna select, we'll go to snap to zero crossing. So that go into here in fact we're not even going to do all that we're gonna select this take this drop it in there I'm gonna do the same thing we did with the pitch make sure we get the you hear that that sounds pretty cool right so Edison utility Edison and then we'll go right click cut itself and we'll add a oh, let's go into fruity wave shaper uh let's try this one oh it's because okay then we'll just all right so now let's see if we can come up with a melody for this and spice it up might just pull up one of my uh loops that i'm working on for a new kit so i don't know we'll see give it a shot with that and then we'll come up with a melody or something That's me. That's me. That's your boy. Forgot to turn on the microphone for the outro, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, really appreciate it. Let me know what you thought about the beat. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the sounds, but repetition will make it easier for me to pump up these videos a little more consistently. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Almost at 25,000 subscribers. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a subscribe. Leave a comment. All of that really helps me grow my channel and in turn i can continue bringing you guys value thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the very next video